right, this bad boy right here is called the Brocock Commander. So, the Commander is available in a highlight version, which is pretty much the same as what you're looking at right here, cosmetic-wise. Comes in 177, 22, and 25. Now, I have the Magnum version, which is called the Commander HP. So, the Commander HP in 25 caliber is delivering 55 foot-pounds of energy. Now, I couldn't really get any specs on the highlight version, but probably at least 6 to 10 foot-pounds less. Now, the other thing you're going to get with the Magnum HP version is a polygon barrel. So, you got a polygon barrel in there, which is what all the target shooters want, so they must be good. Now, the U.S. version of this gun is going to have a folding stock, which is super handy, and that's why I wanted one of these. So, even with a full-length LDC on there, I can fold this thing up and get it in my rifle case. I've actually owned this for a few months and been playing with it. This barrel comes right out with three screws that are located right here. You can pull this out. It's also real easy to line back up. That's actually part of the barrel right there. Your shroud comes off. Anyway, I've changed the breech seal in here a couple times. So when you're cocking this gun right here, if you don't put it all the way back and lock it down, you can actually blow the breech seal out because there's so much air power in the Magnum especially. So anyway, you just pop your barrel off and it's real easy to put a breech seal in there. Now this gun has two gauges, like the Sniper, HR, and some of the other new Brococks. And this is the Huma Regulator gauge, and this is your air tank gauge. So you just air it up and this thing will keep you shooting consistently. Comes with a nice 480cc carbon fiber bottle. And it's going to come with a compensator right here. This thing, really cool compensator. It comes off, one half UNF threads right there so you can put your favorite LDC on there. Today I got a 30 caliber Daystate Airstream. Super cool LDC. Bam, we're all set. So this has a six position butt stock on there. You just operate it by pressing this little button right there. I actually like it on about notch number two right there, but it goes all the way out. There's number six. So whatever length of pull you like. Looks like this badass buttstock is made by Fab Defense. So to fold the stock, you just lift up like this. So in the US, you can get a folding stock. In the UK, it's going to be fixed. It'll stay that way. And same to unfold it. Just give it a little bump up there. That'll snap right into place. Now, if you want to carry some secret spy stuff, it's got a trap door in the, in the butt right there. Very cool. Okay, in addition to the compensator, it's going to come with this fill probe right here. Now, I had to add my own 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting. This is very handy for getting in and out of the fill probe area. This right here is the magazine, and it's kind of like your standard day state magazine. You just pop a pellet in there, rotate it to the next one, pop another one in until it's full. So to load this guy, you just pull the charging handle back, give it a nice firm cocking effort there, and you actually have to slide it in from the other side. So from the left side, the side opposite the charging handle, you take this little notch right here, slide it right over the end of the barrel. It goes in there like butter. Then just push this forward, but like I said, you got to remember to get that thing all the way forward and all the way locked in there. Now this little red dot starts there when you're full, and it's actually going to rotate all the way around and end up right about there when you're empty again. You see right here, it has the adjustment wheel. Now it's a five position adjustment wheel. Now if you're wondering what 55 foot-pounds is, on the highest level right there, it shoots a 25 caliber, 25 grain JSB pellet at... 950 feet per second so I found that it's pretty accurate shooting at 25 grain on power level 3 so we'll get into the chronograph and all that pretty soon here now you see that mine has the 11 millimeter rail but it actually comes with an adapter on here that turns this into a weaver rail and it's a really really nice two-piece adapter let me show it to you this right here is my Hammerly 850 Magnum and I went ahead and stole the scope rails. But these are the ones that come on the Brokhawk Commanders. And they are super, super nice. You can see right there. 
these are super precision. As soon as you loosen them, they just slide off like so nicely. So basically your Brocock is ready to use with Weaver or Dovetail style rails right out of the box. All right, so this is a two-stage fully adjustable trigger. This is your safety right here. It's manual, so you have to click it on and off yourself. That's fire right there. So there's your first stage. This is how it comes out of the box. And second stage. So let's see what that trigger pull is all about. It actually comes with a weaver rail down here, probably about that long. I just grabbed one of these off eBay so I could have a handle on there, but you could put a bipod there, anything you want. So this has what appears to be a 1 8 foster fitting quick disconnect. It actually comes with a magnetic cover that slips right over there, but I did lose mine. So, as I said before though, this extended sleeve right here is just a lifesaver. So it pop, pops in real easily. So today I have a scuba tank, but you can actually fill this up with a hand pump. I did it with my hat stand hand pump for a long time, about a month. And uh, it took about 100 pumps maybe to top it back off, maybe 75. But I was able to do it, and this thing gets a lot of shots per fill. So I was able to have a real good time shooting, even using a hand pump. So I actually have to give my Caldwell Stinger a little bit of a boost there to get lined up with my 50 yard and 75 yard range is out there. Let me show you what's going on. Right through the trees, in the middle of your screen right there, you can see my 50 yards. And way out there, that is actually 65 yards right there. So I'm going to see if I can do some auto resets and some spinners from the porch here. My 50 yard target range, there's a steel running all up and down the tree, so this is impenetrable. Safe for trees. I got a uh, antique auto reset target down there at the bottom so i will take out that uh, auto reset target real fast and we'll hit these spinners 50 yards jsb 25 grains i almost forgot the apples i said dance boy oh there we go that's what i was looking for I'm gonna have to sight this baby back in. Yes, I do. All right, hold on one second. That should do it. A couple clicks to the right. Get us back on track here. So this right here is the top of the breech block right there. You just take these two screws out, three millimeter. And you just grip the breech and give the barrel a little tug and it slides right out. 
There you go, that makes cleaning it real easy too. Now here's the breech sale I blew when I wasn't paying attention and I shot the gun with my bolt back like this trying to do a sound test. Well, that's what a polygon barrel looks like inside. Anyway, there's a little teeny notch right inside the barrel there and basically that o-ring goes right inside it. You could just take a toothpick or something soft and just work it into that groove. It's real easy. Okay, so these two dimples in the top of my barrel, I'm just going to basically line up with these screw holes right here. This all fits real easy and nice. The other thing you can do is line up these two lines right here. The bevel is the same, so once you line these two bevels up, you can even feel it with your finger. You're ready to rock and roll. You can kind of see my holes right through there, so just line those up. These pins right here are going to kind of fit into the holes as well and, and put it exactly where it wants to be. Get that snug and give it a pop, a little bit of a turn. Snug and er, like that. We're good. Just hand tighten that and you're ready to go. Right, I'm going to be starting off with JSB Exact King 25 grain at 35 yards. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Now watch, I'm sliding the camera out of the scope cam. Zoom in and off. Hey, mister. Seriously, dude, I'm trying to film an air gun channel video and you almost walked right in front of my pellet. Can you believe this? I mean, what the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. Man, you guys, I had like eight shots through one hole and then the last two. I don't know what happened. I pulled them, I guess. So, let's get this back to the lab. On power level number three, here's another group. Don't remember exactly what happened here. I don't know if that's ten shots, but if it is, that's amazing. And then here's my last group where I put eight pretty much in one 25 caliber hole well anyway one ragged hole and then I had two flyers so these were probably my fault pretty good though I think you guys are, can see what this is capable of at 35 yards it's dependable so now I'm going to show you guys what this thing can do at 50 yards against apples when it's sighted in I'm going to have to use these 33 grain pellets all I got left and all I did was bump my power wheel up one notch and I was able to fire these 33 grain on that shooting from the mag. I'm just gonna see where I'm hitting. Alright. Let me get rid of that target right there. First notch down.
I'll shoot the hats off these guys. Ooh, hit my camera. All right, you guys, my camera's pretty messed up, but it's still recording. We'll look at the damage after this. The show must go on. My camera's a champ. All right. Twenty five caliber pellet versus Sony camera. It was a bit of a draw because the pellet did not stick inside there and the camera is still working halfway. Actually, I take that back. The JSB did win and went all the way through my camera. Good job. All right, my camera still works, even with a hole straight through it, if you use the remote switch. So, luckily, let's get this party restarted. This is just sort of me sighting in, making sure I'm sighted in. Three grain JSBs from a full 230 bar fill. Alright, not too bad. Not my finest work, but we'll see if I can do any better on these dots right here. Bullet impact. Two clicks left. That one was me. Let me click over one more time. Alright, you guys, I kind of screwed that one up, so I'm just going to plug one in this hole right here. That one right in the freaking bullseye.
I'm laughing because the camera down there didn't get it, but you guys saw that, right? Oh, I just gotta take my time. I think I can do this. It's all about taking your time. We're gonna count that. To finish it out. All right, 33 grain, grouping good, 35 yards. So first though, check out this test shot that I did because I didn't want to make sure my pellet was deformed or something and it went right in the bullseye. Very good Brokaw Commander and JSB. Good team right there. So let's get these back to the lab. All right, you guys check out these groups. There's a 25 caliber pellet. Not even a dime, more like half of a dime. Look at that. Covered by half of a dime. This right here is definitely five under a dime. So you guys saw that close up. A lot of those were through the same hole. Very good. That Brokaw Commander was like Boop. Over and over. By the way, the Brokaw Commander weighs 7.1 pounds and is 39 inches long. Another cool feature is that you can decock this gun. So if it's cocked, you don't want to leave your air guns cocked when you're storing them. So just grab that bolt right there, pull the trigger, let it down slowly, and you're all set. All right, you guys, this is the official 50-yard group with JSB 33 grains. There you go, five shots, dime-sized hole. Booyah! I gotta get this down, hold on. There's your 50 yard group. Not bad. Center to center, covered by a dime, with the whole thing being covered by a nickel. Very nice. You do have to concentrate when you're shooting 50 yards with this thing. The Crown, I'll just tell you, it seemed like it was really easy for me to shoot. This gun, it's a little more difficult. You have to concentrate, but when you do and you pull the trigger right, and you have your follow through, which is basically having your crosshairs on the target after the pellet hits it, then it goes where you point it. All right, you guys, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. I got the Brokaw Commander here, my target down there. I'm gonna sight in at 65 yards. All right, you can see I'm aired up too. I like to do 225 because it's right in the middle. 65 yards here. Let's do some groups with JSB 33 grains. Five shots. All right, guys, there's my, I can't remember, five or six shots at 65 yards. Boom, boom in the room, room. That was the, my first shot. Wow, 65 yards, center to center, dime size group. All right, I think I'm sighted in enough to inflict a little bit of damage. Let's see what we can do. Can't believe I did that.
freaking nailing it at 65, yo. Go down, boy. There we go. One dead boar. All right, I got a full 230 bar fill and I'm gonna be running 25 grain GSB pellets. All right, you guys, we're gonna be doing this shot string on power level number four, one down from the top. Usually where I stop shooting is about 160. It looks like we went from 230 to 150 bar, about 40 shots. Okay, that was on power level number four. Now I'm down on power level number one. Here we go. I'm sorry, this is power level number five, but it's not the top one, so power level number five. Here we go. So here we go to the uh, wide open high power. So let's put a couple 33 grain JSBs in here, see how fast they're going on high power. All right, now this is gonna be 33 grain JSB at medium power, power level number three. And finally, all the way down at power level number one. All right, you guys, here's what I got going on in my 100-yard target range. You guys remember Dragon, right? A couple bells. And that's not a real kitty cat. He's just made out of steel. Up here, I got my trusty squirrel auto resets right there. Seen those in the AP-16 video. They're still running strong. And right here, we got the Daisy Rocket Shot. Close enough. Okay, I got some 25 grain JSBs fresh out of the tin. Got my little shooting spot here by the 35 yard. And we got 100 yards. Got 100 yards down there. Now, I would call this a basically winless day. I shot 100 yard groups for the first time yesterday but these trees were blowing all over the place. Anyway, I think I'm sighted in. Let's do this. 25 grain JSBs, 100 yards. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be sighted in. I'm gonna take a test shot on this guy's hat right here. Oh yeah, wait, <laughs> I forgot. I didn't wanna crank my scope all the way down, so I put the crosshairs to be right there. Booyah. All right, let's try this bell right here. Now see if I can pop this can out. So I'm shooting downhill, I'd want to aim a little bit low. Boom. So you guys check this out. Right there is my crosshair. It's like right, right there, can you see that? That is my point of aim that I set. If you crank your scope all the way down or to the left or right, it wears a spring out, so I left it kind of in the middle. It works. Hawkeye, I love these reticles, AMX reticle. It is a little bit windy now. I'm on 24 power on my scope. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Wow. <laughs> Crap. It just screws my group up. Stinking bullseye always does that. I think I'm getting in the groove of the shooting now, so let's see. Official five shot group starts two shots ago. Here we go. Let's see if I can put uh, three more shots through that red. It must be a breeze I'm blowing them all into. That was kind of weird. It all grouped over to the uh, right. Let me try that one more time. I'm going to shoot at the eight. Hmm. That was halfway decent. All right, I'm going to do a group on Dragon's head. Look at that. Let's do 10. All right, let's see if I can do 10 shots on that yellow bell right there. Counts. Nice. All right, that's pretty impressive. 10 shots on that bell right there. And I did a pretty good group on Dragon's head here. You know, no matter which way you slice it, I am not able to shoot better than about a 50 cent piece size group. All right, before I roll out of here though, let's see if I can get lucky enough to auto reset these little guys. Got about an inch and a half right there. Should be able to do it. Go, mister. Mm. 
I don't want to pop back up, but. All right, you guys, I was hitting these uh, inch and a half paddles with ease. So that's good. That's a lot of fun, too. So if you can hit these, then you can hit spinners. So you guys be able to do spinners at 100 yards with your buddies with this gun. No problem, which is actually a lot of fun.